Hey everyone, welcome back to, uh, uh, Silo interrupted me, uh, to Far Cry Primal Permadeath Mode, and, uh, what I'm gonna do is, so what, some of the things that get limited, uh, in this mode are also, like, how I use my, uh, upgrades, so I should, uh, take a look here. So some of these are, like, permanently locked. Right, like you just can't use them in um, in this mode, and I don't think any of these are a good example. Uh, things like how my hawk is used, or my owl, not my hawk, uh, will be permanently locked. Right, like so, these red ones will eventually unlock as the story goes on, but these grayed out ones, are just not going to happen. And uh, so things like your your beast does not get revived when it dies it dies which is sad uh, but uh yeah also these health bars i'm not gonna be able to get these health bars so you're constantly so somewhat sort of desperate in this mode, uh, in this uh, this little section we're doing, I'm just doing a scouting run actually down here in this general area. I know this to be somewhat sort of safe, and I just am going to scout it out so that I can grab up some resources and maybe, maybe I will uh, kill some animals and make a run to the next fire pit or the fire what do they call them? There's a word for them. Bonfire. Okay, so this bonfire maybe I can make a run to it too. But I'm I'm j right now I'm just scouting this out, take a look for um, a few resources. And I know there's a little random resource pack down here by the river. And I don't mind picking that up. Couple birds there. Is that a turtle across the river? Couple turtles there. I might go and kill those turtles. Oh, animal hides full. Okay, so I actually did not need to do that in the least. That was a little disappointing. So I'm full of meat and I've got my animal hides. I was hoping for something else other than that, but... I guess there's really no point in scouting this out if I have the basics of everything that I need. So maybe it's better just to take a run at this next bonfire.
What did we get here? Another deer skin. I think I scared them away. That's all right. We're we're heading up here anyway, and we'll see what we can see what we can do from this spot. Here, humans. I might be guarding this bonfire. I thought that this was an unguarded bonfire. But obviously, there's something around because I'm hearing voices. Can't quite tell where they're coming from, though. Help the Winja fight the invaders. Okay, so maybe they marked it on the map. They should be right here, like I'm right on top of them. <laughs> These guys are on my side. Is that it? It wasn't people, it was just an animal? Oh, there was a person here. I mean, I wouldn't be celebrating right now because, like, I think you dropped a person. At least, well, there's another person. I don't know who these people were, but... I don't know if they were on their side or what happened there, but fair enough. I hit their they're happy, I'm I'm happy if they're happy. Hunter. All right, so this is just a rundown on the bonfires. Uh, they do work as fast travel, even in this mode. Which is great because otherwise you're trekking like miles and miles and miles through this wilderness. Uh. Nothing there. He's got my arrow back. 
And some goat skin. Red leaf? It's like I walked right past this bonfire. So it was completely unguarded. Good. All right, when you claim a bonfire uh, or enemy outpost, uh, you unlock a new fast travel point. Like I said, uh, you can also fast travel to your village. Always good. Um, yeah, just a little rundown about fast travel. Can do. And now that we're here, oh, just this little. Let's see what we got for skills. Reveal terrain. Reveal 100 feet of terrain around you in the map menu. Uncovers more activities and missions. I think I will take that. And... Does help out a little bit. Nothing new at the outpost. And we're in this little area here, so... I mean that's that's essentially it. This is the next mission, but I wouldn't mind scouting from this area too and clear this out because I know there's wolves and other things around here. Good to just kind of take a look around and not uh, not get too far ahead of ourselves. We take it slow and steady on this one. Um, let's take a look. How far away do you think it would be? I don't think it's that far. I don't know. I don't believe it's dangerous at all to go there. And I can always fast travel back. I'm starting to run low on stamina. I just wouldn't want to come across like a bear or a moose or something crazy like that. What is that? That's more goats. I don't even think I can get anything from that. More goat skin. Quite sincerely, is goat skin good for anything? Like, a little question mark here. Is this like a guarded area? Or? Shit. I don't know what this is. going to get anything from this because I'm full of meat already. Okay. 
Elk skin, rhino skin, tiger skin. I don't mind if I do. That's quite valuable. So found like a little cache of free skin. Taking a look at the map. Okay, hold up here, hold up. Uh, let's see. I feel like I've kind of sort of been heading in the wrong direction. Oh fuck, I walked through the fire again. That happens to me all the time in this game. I think it's just a goat. Yeah, it's just a goat. I'm just looking at my stamina here and I'm not quite sure if I have enough stamina. A terrible idea. Or we can just like eat some meat here and kill some goats and. So if I can do that, then. stamina. All right, well, we're almost there, and we've got a fair amount of stamina still, so I'm happy with that. What is this? That is a rock. I think we've arrived. Shit. Who are these clowns? Oh, there's a fucking bear there. 
Jesus Christ. I don't, know, I don't know if this is a good idea. This seems like a terrible idea. If these idiots kill it, then fine. Uh, otherwise, I think I have to get the fuck out of here. Of course, I get lit up by this goddamn fire here. Go away, bear. I'm sneaking past that. Full of meat. So I, I guess we snuck past the bear, um, which is fine, but I just don't want to come out of this cave into a bear. So I'm sure this guy will have some kind of crazy mission for me to go on. Gross. Oh shit. Uh, I wonder if this is the owl part. Uh, this could be a real source of my death. Oh, he, he gets me wicked high. Uh, it's one of the things I don't like about the Far Cry series is that you're constantly hammering you with hallucinogens and you always go on these really stupid uh, like spirit journeys where you're high out of your mind. I mean, it's a little, uh, I don't know, it's a little silly to me. But, I guess it's the only way to get my owl, and I do kind of need my owl. As limited as the owl is, it's version of things. Just, like, flying is not easy. In this game. Shit. I'm remembering that it's inverted, because I have this inverted flying. Worse, it gets worse. And then, bam. You can tell I don't have great controls over it. It's like kind of, it's kind of janky. Um, shit. Very easy to just kind of like close to hitting something but not quite. Round one.
Oh shit! That might be game over. I'm not sure. It might give me a second chance here. I've botched this a couple of times, uh, so it might. I think it. Yeah, it gave me a second chance. If you if you progress a certain amount of story, it will give you a second chance on this stuff. Even though it's permadeath, like I I accept it for these because you're on a magic spirit journey that it could give you a second chance. But fuck, this is so hard to control. He jumps around like a fucking idiot. I'm just barely touching the controller and it's like jumping all over the place. These, these sections are like my least favorite part of the game too. They seem so stupid. Like, I, don't know, I don't know why they include them in almost like the recent Far Cry games. They're always they're always a part of it, and it's, it's like I'm always like dramatic eye roll every time they come up. I'm like why why do you think that they, they think these are like deep or something? But they're not. They're silly. They make these into a cartoon. Dosh, dosh. No, umi faqui, jau sumuha. Done. Hope we wake up in our own bed and not right outside that bear cave. That would suck. Guarpati. Shras! Uhai guarpati. Ubargo shayu tu si daha. Usai di yu di yauga daha. Guarpati. Faran habandata. Kubal san guar habanda magata. Ulaukawal, Waida, Walkwaswa. All right, so uh, I did manage to survive that, although uh, I did perish once. I mean, for permadeath, it's not exactly permadeath, but it's uh, reasonable. Smash my face on a branch. But the game goes on. Call that a. Uh... I'm just gonna duck down here. We got a couple things out of that. Looking for this bear, that's all. There he is. Oh. You're the worst. I wonder if I can fast travel out of here. Wait. Some more uh, 
Uh, some more folk in trouble? Is that... I really don't want to piss this bear off. anybody I think the event is uh, over yeah we watched that there's a campfire here I might try to just get over to that and I am well rested now too so it wouldn't be a big deal Trying to tag one of those birds. Where's my arrow? There it is. All right, so still nothing here. I've got this campfire going. I've got uh, the shaman to visit, who's going to teach me about more uh, ways to tame animals. I think what I'll do is rest here till dawn. Because even though I'm well rested, I'm not sure how close we are to sunset and sunrise. I don't know which is... I'm not really sure if that's going to be west or not. Anyway, we'll pick it up here next time. We made a little bit of progress. Got a little bit going. Uh, managed to smash her face into a tree, but we didn't die. Which is the important part. Which is the goal of the day. Not to die. Alright, thanks for watching.